Hi and welcome everyone to our lesson in uh, wind turbine design. In this lesson, we would like to discuss the uh, rotor uh, solidity and how many rotor blades should we use, okay? Or the number of rotor blades. So let's start by the definition of definition of rotor solidity. The rotor uh, solidity is simply the ratio between the area of the plate or plate area divided by the swept area okay so let's understand this we have here for example a three uh, bladed uh, turbine okay a turbine with three blades okay one two three each of these blade have an area of a so a representing this area Okay, the area of the one blade. So the blade area, which is the total blade area, we have one, two, three blades. Okay, so it will be three multiplied by the area of one blade. So it will be three A. So we have here area of blade one, another area, two, and another area, three. Okay, so it will be three A. Now divided by the swept area. Swept area is the area which is covered by the wind turbine. Okay, so as you can see, this is all of this circle is considered as all of this is considered as the swept area of the blades. So when this blades rotate, they form a circle. The area of this circle is called the swept area. Okay, which is the area covered by the wind uh, the wind turbine blades. Okay, so the ratio between the blade area, which is 3A, divided by the swept area, which is the total area A, all of this area, which is er this area, area will be equal to, as you can see, we have radius R, radius R. So we'll say pi R square. Okay, pi multiplied by the, uh, um, the, uh, radius square or pi over 4 d square okay the diameter of the rotor square okay this representing this area okay okay so now we would like to uh, know how can we um, how the what is the effect of the rotor solidity on the um system okay or the, on the wind turbine so we have two examples here you can see we have one two three three blades one two three three blades so the area here will be or the rotor solidity will be or rs let's say rs equal to three a which is the area of one uh, blade this blade divided by the total area a okay now this turbine, this turbine, the rotor solidity will be equal to how many blades we have area of one blade A. How many blades we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight blades, okay, divided by the total area A. So as you can see, we have here three A. In the first case and we have here 8a this is called since it is a lower value it's called low solidity okay and this is called high solidity okay now what is the difference between this type and this type when do we use the low values or low number of blades and when we use high number of blades let's see now so first, the low solidity, when the ratio here is equal to 0.1, the ratio between the area of the blades, the three blades, over the total area. This will lead to a small number of blades, as you can see, one, two, three, only three blades, compared to this case of um, eight blades, okay? So this one has a low number of blades, only three blades, which will mean light weight of blades, since we have... A small number of blades means the total weight will be small also since we have a small weight then it will rotate with high speed 
and of course it will lead to low starting torque it will take uh, low starting torque in order to start rotating okay why because it has small weight now the second case here when we have large number of blades means that rs is high the value of the rotor solidity is very high greater than 0.8 this leads to large number of blades you can see one two three up to eight blades here in this case i eight blades which means we will have large weight since we have large number of blades which means it will rotate slowly or have low speed and it will lead to large starting torque it will take large speed of wind in order to start rotating this uh, configuration okay so we have two cases either to use a small number of plates or large number of plates which one do you think we should use now in real time or um, in real life applications we use the low solidity with like this one three blades use it in the electricity generation okay and the large or the high solidity used in water pumping system so when we have when you see a turbine with this configuration you already know that this one is used in a water pumping system okay and when you see a three blades like this you will know that it is used in electricity generation okay as you can see here we have three blades and this we have large number of blades okay very large number of blades and this we have only three blades so as you can see it is obvious that this one low solidity used in the electricity generation and this one with large number of blades low speed and large weight is used in the water pumping system okay so we understand now that we need a small number of blades not large number of blades okay since we are talking about the electricity generation now the question is should we use even number of blades such as two uh, four six eight or we should use odd number of blades one three five seven and so on in electricity generation okay so first let's discuss the even type you have to understand that modern wind turbine general engineers okay the engineers which are building this uh, wind turbines usually usually avoid building large machines with large uh, rating with an even number of rotor blades they don't use the even number such as two blades or four plates why because a rotor with an even number of blades will have a stability problem okay it will be unstable not like the odd number now the question is why do we have stability problems why does the double bladed for example two blades have a stability problem now simply because each rotor blade has an exact and opposite blade which is located 180 degrees in the opposite direction as you can see this blade it has after 80 180 degrees here we have the second blade opposite directly opposite to it okay so when the rotor rotates when this start rotating the very moment the uppermost blade is pointing vertically upwards at 12 o'clock so this one when it is pointing here like this when this blade is pointing here like this at 12 uh, o'clock the lowermost blade is pointing straight down in front of the turbine support tower like here it will be like this okay here so as you can see as you can see as you can notice you can see that here this one this part or the uppermost uh, uh, blade behind it is free air here it will have behind it free air however this one will be exactly in front of the tower okay so as you can see the effect of wind here is different from the effect of wind here due to the presence of this uh, column or the tower support or support tower now here due to the unbalance in this um, forces this will lead to stability problems to be more exact that the uppermost blades bend this backward it will be bending backward it will go backward 
okay due to very large force of air here it will called the thrust uh, loading thrust loading this will cause this one to go backwards okay here it will go behind the tower it will bend okay while the lower plate passes into the wind free area directly in front of the support tower this one will go outwards so simply like this what we would like to say if we have a tower like this okay and we have here one plate we have here one plate like this and second one downward here okay due to the effect of wind very large force of wind this one will become like this will bend okay leading this one leading for the lower one becomes like this okay so as you can see there is stability problem this one will bend backwards and this will go upwards or in front of the supporting tower okay that's why we don't use the even number of plates okay however a rotor with an odd number of plates such as three or five three plates or five plates well when it's rotating it will rotate like a disc it will be like a disc as we see the swept area or the area when when it rotates it is like a disc okay so when we calculate the dynamic properties of this system we can consider it as a disc also the wind turbine which have an odd number of rotor plates so at least three blades will be rotate smoother than even number of plates okay because the forces here are balanced across the blades compared to the two bladed for example okay which will lead to more stable wind turbine okay so in the end we don't use the even number okay so we don't use the even number in generation we use the odd number of blades now the question is the number of odd blades should we use one blade or three blades or five blades which one okay of course higher means that we will use it in the um the uh, water pumping systems okay so the question is is it a single or three bladed or more so the most common odd blade wind turbine design is that of the three bladed turbine okay so we usually use this one the three bladed system okay and you will always always see in everywhere you will usually see this this configuration three blades three blades everywhere okay most of the most of the turbines are three bladed now the power efficiency of a three bladed rotor is slightly above that of the similar size two bladed rotor okay so the efficiency of a three bladed will be higher than the rotor double blade more blades means we will uh, we will take more wind and we can generate more power so anyway the three bladed will have a higher efficiency than the double bladed and of course has more stability than the double bladed other advantage of the three bladed rotors includes a uh, smooth operation and less noise and less interaction with birds and which will lead to a compensation of the extra um, blade or extra cost of the blade okay so in the double bladed it will give the higher speed okay but it is unstable however this one is more stable and this extra one will help us achieve more smoother operation okay and less noise and so on now the problem of the one bladed one bladed exists and saves the uh, we have only one blade so it will save the cost of extra blades what two blades or three blades so we will save the extra of the uh, blades okay and at the same time since we have lower weight lower number of blades it will lead to higher rotational speed however they are not widespread as they have the same problems of the even plates okay they have stability issues that's why due to the presence of stability issues you will see that we add an extra weight on the other side to balance this uh, blade they have noise and visual problems as you can see and they need a counterweight this one in order to balance this rotor 
So as you can see, since we added a balance, a counterweight balance, you can see there is no much difference in weight saving. You can see that we have this blade and this uh, uh, counterweight is almost equal in weight as the two uh, blades. Okay, so there is no uh, point in doing the single plate. Now the conclusion, which one we should use in our wind turbine system? Most modern wind turbines use the three bladed design. They use three blades or odd number of blades and three blades. Okay, with the rotor positioned, maintained upwind by using electrical motors in the rear mechanism. Now, what does this mean? Remember that there are two types of vertical um, and horizontal as uh, the horizontal axis wind turbine the horizontal axis wind turbine has two types the upwind and the downwind now the upwind the rotor is facing the coming wind the downwind the rotor is not facing the wind the wind is behind this rotor so in order to generate the most power we need to maintain the direction of the rotor towards the wind so we need to keep this rotor in the same direction of the wind so how can we do this there is something called a yaw mechanism now what does a yaw mechanism do this will rotate the turbine itself rotate this turbine in the z direction as you can see here, the Z direction rotates it in the Z direction. So we can move this one from this direction and move it like this and make it in the opposite direction, like this one. Using a yaw mechanism here, located here, this one rotates using electric motors. We can rotate this, um, this turbine towards the direction of the wind, okay? Now, of course, most of the turbines manufacturers, they have this design, should have a yaw mechanism because this will lead to more generation of electricity, okay? So depending on the direction of wind, we use the yaw mechanism to face this turbine towards the wind. Now, let's understand uh, an example of the yaw mechanism. We would like to see this, how it is working, okay? So first, let's delete all of this like this. Now let's uh, go and start this. You can see wind turbine yaw system, okay? So this is the uh, wind turbine here is located in this direction and we rotate it using a mechanism here, here in the Z direction in order to face the wind. Move it from this direction to this direction. You will see how it works right now, okay? So as you can see, so as you can see, this is our wind turbine. As you can see, the wind, it's facing the wind in the upwind direction. Now we would like to uh, rotate this one. If it is in this direction, for example, how can we rotate it? You will see here, yaw mechanism here. You will see exactly what happens. Okay. So as you can see, using the yaw mechanism, using electric motors, we can rotate this part. Okay, the part of the wind, you can see we can rotate it using yaw mechanism. So in this case, we can move it from this direction from being downwind and move it to become upwind. Why? Because the upwind will generate more electricity because there is no uh, shadowing effect. So I hope this lesson was helpful for you. So now you understand that we use the three bladed design uh, or odd number of blades in electricity generation and we use the yaw mechanism in order to face or move this downwind towards or become upwind okay